To begin the finishing process, I start by filling the green. This only applies to the mahogany on this build, as the maple isn't too porous. I use a two-part epoxy called Zepoxy, which is mixed together and then smeared perpendicular to the green. The goal of this is to fill all the open pores with epoxy to make a smooth, flat surface on which to lay the finish. I like to lay around three coats with sanding in between. I know when I'm finished when I sand and I can't see any more low spots. After finishing with the green filling, it's time for staining. To prep the body, I start by taping off the mahogany which will not be stained. I would recommend a vinyl tape in this situation, but all I had to hand was masking tape. With the vinyl tape, it's much easier to get crisper lines which means less work later on. So to stain the top, I'm using a water-based aniline dye. I started by covering the whole instrument in a light shade of red, and then using a slightly darker shade around the edges to give it a subtle sunburst effect. Now that the stain is dry, I can clean up the line where the maple cap joins the mahogany body. To do this, I just wrapped some 320 grit sandpaper around the rubber and worked my way around. I went around the edges of the maple cap with some shellac. This helps prevent any runs when the finish is applied. It was then time to build up some shellac. I started off by wiping the shellac up and down the body with my pad, and after a few coats were built up, I switched to a more circular motion. I wasn't happy with the epoxy, so I decided to get rid of it. To seal the pores, I instead used pumice. Pumice is a fine pyroclastic powder, which abrades the mixture of shellac and mahogany to fill the pores. In the end, it had a much more natural look to it. I wanted to try out True Oil for this build. As much as I love French polish, it's not the most versatile finish out there. I started by wiping on a very fine coat up and down the instrument. 
I did this three times a day for three days with a light sanding in between. At the end of my sessions, I sanded back with 1200 grit paper. I then buffed the polish with T-Cut and Super Nico polishes. I tried using my random orbital sander and a buffing pad, but I found I got better results rubbing by hand. In the end, I'm quite happy with this finish. It seems reasonably durable and very fast on the neck considering the sheen. That's it. Thanks for watching.